Hello listeners and viewers, I'm Brad and this is Offcut Media. So it has been a while between videos, I blame working in retail during the Christmas period and a little bit of illness on the way as well. Hopefully I can be a little bit more consistent going forward. Anyway, now is the time for Christmas music and I think I've found a Christmas album that needs more attention. It's not Mariah Carey or a Buble, it's not Celine Dion or Bad Religion, but the shut up your face man himself, Joe Dolce. So this is Christmas in Australia. I remember my mum always talking about this album at Christmas and rolling my eyes thinking what this would be like knowing what the single Shut Up Your Face was like. So recently I spent my hard earned money to track down a copy of this and I found it. And not only for this video but I finally have a copy for mum to cherish. Firstly I want to talk about the artwork. I actually love the creativity in the cover art and it is a slice of the times looking through the Italian Australian lens of the early 80s. It gives an atmosphere of already what the album could be, although I actually have no idea what I'm getting into. So onto the music itself. This is reaction straight away to these tracks. I've never heard any of them before. I made sure that I didn't look at anything on YouTube or anything beforehand. Uh, so yeah, I'm going track by track and getting my reactions. First track. Christmas in Australia. Okay, I don't actually know if I could get through this whole album. Already the trademark Joe Dolce accent shines within the first minute. I mean, the tune is actually not bad and the instrumentation is good, but the vocals are really something I'm going to have to endure. Hearts are filled with cheer. Everybody's wrapping the presents. It's the best time of the year. But somewhere else it's snowing and winter's on the ground. I saw Mama kissing Santa Claus. Already a little Giuseppe has been mentioned and Joey Perone, who was from Young Talent Time, plays little Giuseppe throughout the song, taking on the Joe Dolce accent as well. Song remains similar to the original, but of course a little Italian flair throughout it as well. I saw the Mama kissing Santa Claus Blue Christmas. One of the more somber tracks I've come across compared to the first two, and the Ellis version is immensely superior. Once again, instrumentation, spot on, but Joe Dolce, I don't know if I can last. All I have a blue Christmas, that's a certain. And the when that the blue heartache starts hurting. This time of year. The added syllables to every third word from Joel Dolce is really starting to get to me. I know it's a play on the Italian Australian stereotype and accent, but it it yeah. Give me an album, however, with just the instrumentation and I'd be very happy. This time of the year. When the Christmas is near And the somewhere Christmas medley So we go through Rudolph playing bocce And instrumental jingle bells Frosty the snowman sung by children without the Dolce accent Joe Dolce returning to quickly add Here comes Santa Claus and Santa Claus is a coming to town With the shut up your face reference thrown in a Winter Wonderland instrumental version with a little drummer boy to finish off. It isn't a terrible end to the side, but I realise I'm only halfway through. Somebody thump, 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 thump. Hey, look at that frosty go! Somebody thump, 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 thump. He's a crazy. Over the hills of the snow. Frosty snowman was a happy jolly. Jingle Bell Rock. It has credited Mary Wilson on here performing as the Supremes. I'm assuming it is Mary Wilson from the Supremes. I'm not sure. That's the only redeeming feature in this track. You want to be funky? You want to be funky? Do the monkey. Christmas at our house. I'm worried about this house. I mean, I was expecting the stereotypical Italian, but it's it's all right. Maybe I'm getting used to his voice. I hope not. Cause mama's cooking macaroni and Angelina's making the dough and someone's a kissing Uncle Tony. 
Underneath the mistletoe, it's Christmas at that house. The door is the old open. days of Christmas. This I was actually dreading, and it makes perfect sense. Pizza pies, meatballs, Uncle Tony's, and glasses of vino. This is one of the worst renditions of the 12 Days of Christmas I have ever heard. I take back getting used to his voice. There's only two tracks to go. Doorbell rang. My cousin Jean is coming. Hey, Uncle Tony's. What am I going to sit? I got seven cannabis, six pepperos, five pasta vasoles. I have to split to get to the cup, so mom. All you guys can have the four of me the balls, the cut in the half of the three pizza pies, the two garlic cloves, and the quarter milk, a loaf of bread, the pound of butter, and the bowl of parmesan and the cheese. Silent Night. This is one of the most elegant and beautiful Christmas songs ever written. And Joe Dolce decided not to ruin it with his trademark singing. Tick. Good. Open Your Heart. Probably the most heartfelt song on the album. He dedicates the album to children everywhere and really... I guess if you take the album with the sense of humour that it is, it, it makes sense. Nice end. And remember, the spirit is always singing somewhere, and the children are listening. Sometimes they don't want to listen to you, but they're always listening and they can hear it. So that is Christmas in Australia by Joe Dolce's musical theatre. I expected worse, to be honest. I thought it would really be butchered with overtly stereotyped lyrics constantly and wacky instrumentation, but really it was subdued. The instrumentation is really good. Strip away the vocals and I could actually listen to just the instrumentation, but I just cannot get into the Dolce experience. It was a different time, and the stereotypes and tropes remain with acts like Sushi Mango, who are amazing by the way. Um, you have rocks in the side? Are you gone? But maybe looking at an album 40 years after its release, you do need to take into context of when it was produced and what time period we're looking at. Maybe I should just shut up and listen. Thank you for listening to this video and watching some random pictures throughout it as well. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe like every other YouTuber tells you to do. Uh, it does actually help out the channel. You wouldn't be surprised how much just those little, little actions actually help out. I'm Brad, thank you very much, and I uh, hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now. Here's the tenth that they come, get a little thirsty. Mama brought out ten glasses.